Hey, what's going on, y'all? So, MetaZoo's dead. At least, <laughs> that's what people are saying. And it's definitely what it feels like. But I bought a collection anyways. And technically, I didn't buy, like, a whole collection that was already pre-grouped together. There's just a lot of whatnot things that I won or bought, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, yeah, let's go through it. I'm still buying cards that I enjoy. And then a lot of these, if I'm just being totally honest, were selling for, like, a dollar. So even in the fact that I could keep some of them, give some of them away, you know, keep things in circulation, that's kind of where my mind was at on some of these. Let's look through this box right here and see what we got. This is proof of many <laughs> whatnot bids and auctions that day. Um, yeah, I don't know how much I got all this for, but I bought a ton of stuff. And honestly, the prices last Monday were pretty crazy. They've gone back up by now, but um, in reality, it might reach that point again sooner than later. So uh, that's just what it is. Here's another look inside the box with all the stuff, but I'm just going to be grabbing stuff off top and we'll take it from there. Got a wilderness blister. I'll probably rip this later. Maybe we'll pull a green man. I don't know why I would ever open UFO. The secret rares aren't interesting and um, great cards in this set, but I have so many of all of them uh, and they didn't even make Crawford build monster a full hollow, which was weird. We have a Chromie blister, but I'll probably just open this with court. Guys, I'm pretty sure I got this for $2. This is, yeah, a first edition starter deck. I used to have a full set of five, and then, you know, back when first edition boxes were going for $1,000, I would kind of just like crack one of these just so I could open one of the packs and maybe pull a Mothman. So I needed this one to complete the set, and I think I need one more, maybe the Salamander Queen. I'm not totally sure, but. At a couple bucks, I mean even five bucks, I'm pretty sure I'd pick up more of these movings forward. The first edition of stuff does bring good memories and honestly, I enjoyed MetaZoo for the entirety of 2021. In about most of 2022, I kind of fell off around Seance. Uh, that's when things just kind of felt different for me, so... But anything prior than that, I really enjoyed. And Native's just a great set too, honestly, so can't throw shade on that. But let's just go through all these singles that I grabbed. Oh, nice. I forgot I got that. I've looked at these once, but I've already forgot what most of these are. So we have Mongolian Deathworm. I wanted to grab this just because I probably still will play the game uh, with homies and stuff like that. So this can be played in the Worm deck. I think I got all these for like a dollar each, maybe. And um, I didn't know how many play sets you could have, so I just grabbed them just because... Um, this is another little fan art thing. Yeah, guys, like playtesters were going for a dollar, so um, I like this art. I'm a Frost fan. The anti-potion potion, this card was crazy at Caster Cup, obviously still a really good card. And uh, even this, this was just like, I think, I don't even remember. I think it went for a couple bucks, I don't know. It was pretty wild. I, and I had to get this because it had the best boy Wahila on it. Uh, I think the original tarot cards are cool. The big box ones, not really too into those just because the hollow covers the actual art. So it's kind of weird, but I do like these original ones that came in like the little sealed tarot decks. Just grabbing random stuff off top. Oh yeah, I forgot. So yeah, we did get some slabs too. Um, I don't remember how much this one for, maybe a few bucks, I don't know, but a pristine was just kind of cool. And like I said, a lot of these I'll probably give away. I'll keep them in circulation. I had plans for these besides just like throwing them in a closet. Oh yeah, I was actually really hyped about this one. I thought this art was cool. I didn't really buy into the whole Flork promo t-shirt thing, but I did think this card was cool. And uh, I think this was probably the most card or this was the most I spent on a card, which was maybe like 18 bucks, I think. Um, so some of you might think that's too much, too less. I don't really know. I just thought the art was cool. And sometimes when it's just there, you just snag it. But this was pretty neat. 
I feel like I'm grabbing like into Santa's like magic bag. Like I don't, re I don't really know like what I'm grabbing. My hands just going into the box and seeing what's gonna come out. Getting rid of all these stickers. Oh yeah, Mishu Pishu. I but I'm a huge Mishu Pishu fan. The original artist Isaac Sky Lee did a great job. I think yeah, Chiffon did this one, which was really cool. But Mishu Pishu is a really really cool beastie. And uh, yeah, I still have love for this art, you know? Like, no matter what happens moving forward, I still have cards on my hit list that I want, and that's that. This was five bucks. I figured it'd be kind of cool. Um, I don't know, I didn't buy in <laughs> also to the whole traveling with the passport thing, but I think for the memories and stuff like that, this is kind of a cool pickup, and uh, yeah. Next, in the little bag. Yeah, I mean, even picking up slabs for a dollar is just crazy. It doesn't matter. Like, I'm sure, you know, this card raw would sell for a dollar, but, you know, there's still grading fees. So, stuff like this is still cool to have, I think. And, uh, always makes for great giveaways. Oh, this was actually, yeah, I actually got this one as a giveaway, which is pretty cool. The hollow patterns, I think native was just such a great set. If, I mean, I'm not gonna speculate on, I just, I don't really know what they wanted, honestly, so I don't really know. But if the direction would have been going the way native was going, I think the game would have continued to evolve. And um, yeah, who knows? It's another play tester. Oh, you know what? This was probably my favorite pickup for the whole day. I think I spent, Probably like the floor promo, probably like 18, 19, maybe 20 bucks for this. But I'm a big Frost fan, and this was definitely one that I really wanted to have. Couldn't get that to focus. There we go. This was the first sighting, so from the first top chrome, or not the, it wasn't even top chrome, from the first top set. But I really, oh, it's in the sleeve. But I really like this card, and uh, it's really clean. Like the top loader is all scratched up, so. I was really, really excited about this, honestly. And we have another play tester. And I picked up this other serialized card just because there was, I'm like not the hugest Sam Sinclair fan. I'm not not a Sam Sinclair fan, if that makes any sense. It's just, I don't know. It is what it is. I like the beasties. But I mean, it has a gator. We have the frog. We have so many cool beasties in this Jersey Devil. Um, Tizarak, you know, like I just thought this was cool and it's also from the first top set. So it's serialized pretty neat um, I really don't remember how much I paid for this, but not very much um, But I figured it was pretty cool uh, Wendigo pin club we have a dim Mac Piazza bird Piazza bird is always gonna be cool <laughs> Uh, second or first anniversary celebration or I am tripping right now a new year's new beginning I'm just like convoluted with everything going on and we have the first edition death beam and I just thought this was cool yeah little red ink what is next in this bag of fun oh, I think we have some cool promos here I basically stopped traveling to stuff after um, the UFO th like block is when I kind of stopped traveling to things. So definitely, I don't remember what Comic-Con this was at, but this was a cool little pickup. And this is the little eBay promo. <clears throat> and I'm a Cumberland Dragon fan. So anything Cumberland Dragon, I always really like. Oh, I guess we did another pin club. I don't remember. <laughs> and, oh yeah, Sinister Shadows. This art is always going to be so cool. And the full hollow is honestly so, so nice. I never pulled one, but that is definitely on my hit list. No matter what happens moving forward. I think. Oh yeah, just random caster cup stuff. Yeah. Yep. Just random caster cup stuff. All right, we have another fun bag here. 
I honestly, I think I picked up a lot of stuff. I just don't remember. It was all a blur. Oh, nice. Another playtester. Another playtester. I like playtesters. They look cool. Um, babe Blue Box. Love, love me some Babe. Little Forest Elemental playtester. Can't go wrong with that. <laughs> another playtester. And another playtester. Wow. Uh, I like Frost cards anyways. Oh, but this art was cool. I liked this art. This was a cool uh, playtester for sure. And imagine that. I grabbed another playtester. And if I'm being honest, I think I grabbed 99% of the playtesters for a dollar each. I did pay more for certain things like the Flork promo, the first sighting. You know, I think this was maybe for like five bucks. I don't remember. But this eBay token was really cool. Definitely like Schmooze. And then got some Sam Sinclair promos. I think these were all like a dollar each. Um, yeah, mostly I think these are going to be like giveaways. I don't really see myself keeping these. I might keep this one because I like the goblins. They're always super cool. And like there was a beastie that stuck out to me a lot in the beginning and with Courtney because she was playing uh, the deck. We got a Kickstarter Reverse Hollow. We have another Sam Sinclair. Just got whoop. I like this art though. This art's cool. And this was a, I think this was a promo. Where did, was it Collecticon that they popped up with Seance? I don't really know, but I know this was like a promo. They had like a whole thing built out and uh, yeah. Nice from the comics and another play tester. All right, I'm reaching in there. I don't think there's much left. Let's see, I think, yeah, Van Meter, probably one of my favorite cards from UFO. I'm glad they at least made this full holo, which was cool. So that was neat. Oh, nice. This was, I think, my, probably my favorite pickup. I really like collecting gems in uh, card games, like especially the ones in Flesh and Blood. They're just so beautiful. But I definitely like gems, and I think this one was even numbered 13 out of 50. So I like numbers and... 13's a fun number, especially with a card like this. So yeah, I was honestly super stoked to grab this. And I've already said this before, but moving forward, I'm definitely going to pick up more things. I'm kind of on hold right now. I sold a few things recently and um, just so I could continue to buy other things that I'm interested in. But as time goes on, if prices continue to go down, I will most certainly um, add other things I want to the collection regardless of future potential value uh this was the last thing i think i got this for a few bucks i don't know and uh yeah just got a nightfall spell book so i think the last thing i can do here is maybe compile <laughs> it's a lot it's kind of a mess but i got a ton of stuff i think in all maybe i paid like a a hundred bucks for everything i don't really know um but yeah there's so much stuff honestly um it's a weird time i'm like still processing everything i'm gonna rip this before the video is open uh i think me and Vid me and uh, easton might put out a video soon or something like that i don't really know not really like to drag anything or anybody but maybe just talk about our experience with metazoo and um there was a lot of positives too, and uh, I don't know, it's just such a weird time. I don't really know what else to say on that. I just like the shiny cardboard for now. Everything is still marinating, and at the moment of recording this video, still don't know. Don't know if it's getting bought, don't know what's happening to it, so we're all just kind of chilling. And uh, that, that is that. And this video is probably a mess. I don't know. <laughs> I was like, I'll just record a video of this package that I just got. Why not? And nice. Got another coin. Love Cumberland Dragon. I have so many of these promos. I have to have over 100 of them in a box somewhere. I don't remember, but <laughs> these are cool. So maybe today is the day. Because I, I do want Green Man. Like, there's certain samples that I want like green man's a card that i would like to have i don't remember the card trick so i'm not gonna do one um certain samples frost samples um the green man uh 
I don't know. There's some. There's some good. Even the playtests are like full hollows. There's some of them that I really um, would like to have. So we shall see. Some people are gonna hold on to that stuff, which I probably would if I was like emotionally invested, like most people are. Oh, <laughs> nice. We got a a gem, gen, uh, tundra, little thing, whatever. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. You'll probably see a lot of stuff get sold. You'll probably see a lot of people just keep their stuff, and you can't blame them. Like it. I don't know. It's a weird time. So hopefully more news is coming soon. And uh, I definitely appreciate everybody I've met through MetaZoo. It was an awesome ride, especially the first half of it. There's just so much magic. And I think that's one thing I do want to talk with Easton about is, you know, our first Houston Collecticon experience. I remember telling Dominic the, the first time MetaZoo ever popped up was at Dallas Collecticon in 2021. And uh, I begged Dominic to go to their booth because there was already like some minimal buzz going around. Their Kickstarter was funded. Um, just objectively, I just liked the art. I thought it was cool. I didn't really know anything about the actual gameplay. I think people started to really learn how to play the game over the summer. I didn't really have access to cards because boxes were going for so much. And um, I didn't even know TTS existed at that point. So my first experience playing cards was Houston Collecticon, and that was just like, it's hard to explain that. That was, uh, that was a really magical convention. There was a lot of really cool things that happened. I remember Easton pulled the Collecticon stamped um, Jack Frost and gave it to Isaac. Like, it was just, honestly, it was good vibes. And uh, the energy was just crazy, you know? Um, I don't know, there's a lot of things that are telling me that um, the future direction was maybe not going to be a card game, I'm not really sure, but things still need to marinate, but for now, um, I'm going to gather my thoughts more, I'm going to do some giveaways soon, if you don't follow me on Instagram, it's just Sean Dimension, so yeah, I guess in the meantime, we're just going to be chilling, try not to go too crazy, you know, there's life outside of card games. Um, I know a lot of people have a lot writing on this, but a lot of people are also just kind of really invested emotionally, so you should probably take a step back a little bit, you know, <laughs> be nice to yourself, not cause yourself too much harm, and uh, we'll see what happens. But until next time, good luck on all your pulls. If you're collecting, cool. If not, cool. Let me know in the comments what you're doing right now. I think everybody's kind of just on standby, even if they're not fully paying attention. And uh, we'll see what happens later.